Welcome to Palms Academy. In this video, let us see how to effectively manage and monitor the warehouse yard. Meet John. John is the head of supply chain at XYZ Corp. In the previous video, we saw how John evaluated different ABC classification methodologies for inventory classification. After optimizing routine warehouse operations, John wants to optimize yard management. John realizes that without proper yard management, he can never truly optimize the overall warehouse operations. As the first step to optimize operations in the yard, John identifies the current pain points across all his warehouses. He identifies lack of proper documentation and mandatory checks during vehicle in and vehicle out process. No procedure to capture basic details of drivers like driver name, license details, communication details, lack of visibility of expected vehicles, in-premise vehicles and delayed vehicles. No visibility of back order fulfillment rate. No visibility and prioritization of cross dock vehicles. Unable to track the current location of the vehicle in the warehouse. No visibility of dock operations in terms of dock in time, operation start time, operation end time, dock out time. To address the identified pain points, John decides to implement yard management within the overall scope of the WMS. John also decides to implement his wish list in multiple phases. In phase 1, John implements functions which address the most critical pain points. He implements vehicle in and vehicle out related functions. Registering the vehicle as soon as the vehicle arrives at the warehouse. This includes Vehicle details Vehicle number Vehicle type Gross weight or net weight of the vehicle Checklist parameters based on the vehicle type Driver details Driver name License details Identification details Phone number Identifying whether the vehicle has arrived for unloading, loading or both. Generation of a gate in pass. Establishing of parking lots, docks and cross stuffing areas. Tracking of the vehicles within the warehouse. Movement of vehicles from dock to dock, dock to parking, parking to dock, parking to parking. Dock management in terms of Dock in time Operation start time Operation end time Dock out time Ability to unload or load vehicles at multiple docks. Capturing vehicle out information. Gross weight and net weight of the vehicle. Checklist parameters based on vehicle type. Gate out pass. In phase 2, John implements functions like Automatic capturing of vehicle registration number using a license plate reader. Vehicle visualization screens for Expected vehicles Delayed vehicles Vehicles in premise Dock status Parking lot status Back order fulfillment rate vehicle-wise Cross dock fulfillment rate vehicle-wise Driver address system to communicate with drivers involving SMS facility to inform drivers about operations 
an artificial intelligence driven automated voice based public address system to communicate with the driver and driver information dashboard at driver's resting area. In phase 3, John implements functions like creation of cross stuffing instructions involving one source vehicle to many destination vehicles, one source vehicle to one destination vehicle, multiple source vehicle to multiple destination vehicles, multiple source vehicles to one destination vehicle. Execution of cross stuffing instructions. Integration with Waybridge for capturing vehicle weight automatically during vehicle in and vehicle out. Automated dock or parking lot assignment based on vehicle type. Automatic prioritization suggestion based on cross dock fulfillment criteria, back order fulfillment criteria, vehicle aging. John implements vehicle and yard management system under the overall scope of the WMS. John is happy that he now has complete visibility of his yard and vehicle operations and metrics across all his warehouses. With the data captured using the WMS, John develops dashboards to view critical operations and is able to take timely decisions based on the identified KPIs. With the implementation of yard management, John is able to decrease the turnaround time for vehicles, reduce demurrage charges and increase the overall efficiency of his warehouse operations. This concludes the video on yard management. Please share your feedback in the comments section below. Please subscribe to Palms Academy for more informational videos and blogs on warehouse management.